and welcome to my all seasons lemonade stand so for today's video i will be <laughs> talking about sunscreen so these are spf products that i've been using in the past year or so so let's get started i'm gonna start with um gels so these are sunscreens that are meant to be used on the body but of course they can be used on the face but i've been mainly using them on the body i'll start off with my least favorite and that is the biore uv watery aqua rich watery gel spf 50 and pa4 pluses i first wanted to use this on my face and i ended up not liking it so then i used it on my body so what I didn't like when I used it on my face is that it did crease on my eyelids. So throughout the day when I looked in the mirror and I went like this, it would have like a white line, which looked like I was wearing white eyeliner or something like that. So so the consistency is like kind of watery as the name, yeah, watery gel is, I wouldn't say it's a gel. It's more like a liquidy, liquidy consistency. Also the, the finish, I did not prefer. Like I am more used to, I prefer more, prefer. <laughs> I prefer more of a glowy. Hi, editing me here. So I just wanted to add something before I continue to ramble on and on about sunscreens. But anyways, when I say glowy finish, I'm talking about dewy finish, if that makes sense. And when I say liquidy consistency, I'm talking about something that's similar to sunscreen milk. So yeah, in summary, glowy means dewy, and liquidy means milk. Okay, bye. Glowy? Yeah, a glowy, smooth finish. This one was like matte, matte, tacky feeling. It wasn't smooth on the skin. I felt like there was like a bit of resistance. And then when I started using it on my body, I didn't like the fact that I had to double cleanse my body in order to take it off which like do who double cleanses their body who has time for that so yeah i i only use this when i'm staying home and i have to go out for just like a few minutes and when i have time to like double cleanse um the scent oh i'll just say something about the scent it, it is a bit too strong for me some people describe it as like a floral kind of scent i say it's like floral laundry cleaning supply <laughs> it's just not for me so that's been that has been my experience so far um the plus side to this it has a is that it has a high uv protection and, and it's super 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 water resistant i mean like going to the beach and, or like doing lots of physical activity like sweating and stuff outside this is great but like i i don't do that i i am basically a hermit crab so i don't really go out that often overall wouldn't repurchase that again so that's that next is the derma b everyday sunblock spf 50 and four pa pluses i've used most of it i'm almost finished one thing i have to say about this is i was surprised that the pa rating was so high considering that that um it only has avobenzone as a uva filter if i remember because i don't know i just found that weird to me because like only one uva filter and then also avobenzone which is like i heard not the best uva filter since it is like not that stable like me <laughs> i'm just kidding kind of but yeah um besides that i i like the consistent con consistency it's more of like a cream rather than a liquid or a gel and the finish is like natural but yeah i was surprised that it wasn't greasy or anything like that because it doesn't contain alcohol but yeah i would I would repurchase this again if I find that the PA rating is true to what it is labeled as. Next up is the Hatomugi UV Care and Moisturizing SPF 31 PA 3 pluses. Oh, and it's also called the UV Milky Gel. So this one, I've actually I've been really enjoying using this one on on a daily basis, I would say when it's not like when the uv index is not too high so like zero to 
to three or something like that, I would use this. The consistency is kind of in between a gel and a cream. Or maybe, no, a cream, it's, it's in between a cream and a, like a liquidy formula. I would say out of all the sunscreens I've used, this would be the most moisturizing one. So using it, I don't really recommend using it on the face for every day. I think it's a bit too heavy. And also, if you're reapplying this, I feel like it would sting the eyes so much because it has for me because it just it would just run down and then sting my eyes but besides that I, I really like it it's definitely a glowy finish it's moisturizing and the fragrance oh I have a few things to say about the fragrance oh my god let's just it's so good I don't know how to describe what this fragrance smells like it's just it's just so good like it's just such a comforting scent if anyone knows what this smells like, like, can you describe it for me? Cause I just don't know how, it's just, I can't put it into words. It's just, it smells so good. Like if this, if this came in a body lotion, a shampoo, a conditioner, oh my God, they, they would be taking all my money because I would be buying all that. I want to smell like this 24 seven. Like it smells so good. I just, I'm obsessed with this. I'm obsessed with this. I would repurchase it just for the scent. Just for the fragrance <laughs> but yeah I, I would say pretty good um sunscreen for not not that very sunny day <laughs> for the cloudy and rainy days i would definitely use this one and also like as a hand lotion too because i feel like we neglect our hands in terms of spf a lot so yeah i would definitely repurchase it the scent magnificent <laughs> moving on um is the nivea uv super water gel spf 50 with pa of three pluses so this one in compared to this this is like super super lightweight i feel like this is the most lightweight um, sunscreen that i have it's um a gel consistency but once you like spread it on the skin it just disappears like it's so lightweight. And I remember one morning I was rushing. I woke up late and had to rush like getting ready. So I couldn't do my usual skincare routine. So I just rinsed my face and then put this on. And then I found like later on in the day, my skin felt dry. So I definitely can't use it by itself. Um, it doesn't have any fragrance. It does smell like, um, how do I describe the smell? Like obviously alcohol because it has alcohol. And, and and jelly <laughs> i don't know and um it kind of smells similar to this one but more of like a jelly smell if that makes sense yeah this has been my favorite to use especially around my neck and my ears because i feel like whenever i use a more heavy sunscreen and i don't let it dry before putting my hair down and everything i I find that my hair gets like all greasy around the neck and stuff. Oh, even if I like use it on my face too, like my bangs get all like stuck together and ugly. <laughs> but yeah, it looks greasy. You know that that how like hair looks greasy? It gets like stuck together kind of and it just looks like you haven't showered in a few days. Yeah, I don't like that. So I like how this one dries down super quickly. So I like using this as a daily body sunscreen, especially when I'm rushing definitely recommend this and and it comes with thing um refills <laughs> it comes with refills so that's always a plus really 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 like that one and i really really like this one so these are like i guess my favorite body sunscreens next is the skin aqua uv super moisture gel spf 50 with pa four pluses so this one this was actually one of the first ones I used. Um, I, I, I used this one mainly on my face. The consistency, I would say it's not really a gel. It is like a, a liquidy air consistency. It's really runny. Ew. I would say in terms of moisture, this would be like the least moisturizing and then this would be like the second least moisturizing. So it's... It's pretty lightweight too, 
Um, it has like that kind of yogurty smell. <laughs> yogurty and alcohol, if that makes sense. I think it's like yogurt. Oh, so the finish of this one, I would say it's it's more of a glowy finish in comparison to the Nivea one. The Nivea one definitely has like a more natural finish. But yeah, I enjoyed that one. Um, I did use it on my face for a while and then I started using it on my body and I feel like I could use it for both to be honest, but I'm kind of moving more towards more um essences like more moisturizing sunscreens for my face so those are the gels yeah the gels i don't know if this is a gel i'm not sure but yeah those are the gels well they're they're called gels and then i'm gonna start moving on to the essences so i don't have much i only have these two Oh, before I, I start talking about that, um, the first Japanese sunscreen I used was the, uh, oh my god, what is it called? Kos the Kose Suncut, the Kose Suncut UV Perfect Gel, I think. It's the light blue bottle with the white cap. That one, I would say, is like in between. Oh, that one is like more of a gel consistency, and I, I would say that it had a more glowy finish than this one. And it was moisturizing than, more moisturizing than this one. So yeah, that one was a good one too. But I don't have it anymore because obviously I finished it. Uh, and then moving on to the essences. I only have these two. I only started using essences this year. So I'm gonna start talking about... Ooh, what is this? Oh, it's like the dried up sunscreen that like stays on the, the cap and stuff. It's kind of gross. Okay, moving on. Okay, so the first essence I will be talking about is the Biore UV Aqua Rich Watery Essence as SPF 50 PA++++. Plus 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 plus. I, I was expecting to like it more just because of all like the hype around it and stuff like that, but I actually did not, interestingly. So I was expecting it to be more lightweight, but this one... It has a jelly consistency, but the finish, I feel like it, it takes longer to dry down and the finish is definitely more glowy. The thing about like it not drying down fast enough is that, you know, I have bangs. So if it doesn't dry down fast enough, it'll get all greasy and, you know, just like stuck together and it just doesn't look good. So... I don't really like that, but when I'm not in a rush and I could let it dry down, I could use this. No problem. It's not like I don't like it, it's just not my favorite. Yeah. The scent is basically the same as the gel, but I think it's like a lighter scent. It's not too strong, like, you know when a scent is like too strong, it like like hurts kind of like it hurts your nostrils <laughs> no. <laughs> no but like it's but when i i first use it like when i first used it the alcohol scent was so so strong like i had to use it one or once or twice more to get used to it the first application oh my god that like you know, it like hurt my nostril. All right, so last essence is the Skin Aqua UV Super Moisture Essence Gold SPF 50 with PA++++. So I would say this has been my favorite face sunscreen so far. It's like the right amount of moisture and also not too sticky. The consistency is on the creamier side, but it is like a light, when you initially apply it, there is a slight white cast, but it does set in. So for me, there's no visible white cast. I think it's because one of the filters is like a hybrid filter, Tinsorb M, if I'm correct, if I remember it correctly. So it kind of, it smells like similarly to this one, like milky kind of scent. I, don't, I think it's like kind of like milky, yogurty kind of scent. 
I don't know how to describe it, but it's a very mellow scent, which I, I like. And it dries down fast, pretty quickly, which I like. The only thing is, I feel like you have to rub this in a bit more, obviously to help with the white cast. The finish is, I would say, like a natural to glowy finish, but definitely more natural in my opinion. I would be really interested in using the uh, the original one or like the pearl one, if I think that's what they call it. It's the white bottle with the, the gold cap. Yeah, I would definitely repurchase this over and over and over again. I mean, it's 80 grams for like how much? think for it was like 15 to 17 dollars which is really good so i i definitely like this better than this one only because this one it just takes so long to dry down so those are the essences that i've used moving on to the sunscreen sticks so these ones i don't use for the initial application of sunscreen i use these for every application First is the Isntree Hyaluronic Acid Airy Sun Stick SPF 50 and then four PA pluses. Now this one, I would say like for both of them, they're kind of similar. I feel like this one is on the dewier side. Well, both of them are dewy because they're sun sticks. They're, I feel like all sun sticks just have that glowy finish anyways. But yeah, I, I've been enjoying using this one obviously as you can tell it's all empty it has a nice convenient shape to it so it can get into like all the crevices and, but i feel like i've been enjoying this one just a little bit more this is the abib quick sun stick protection protection bar spf 50 with pa plus 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 and it just looks like this i think i like this more because it has like a wider shape so it covers more surface area so it is faster to reapply sunscreen and also it doesn't really smell like anything that much and i feel like it is it dries down like faster than the isn't tree one the isn't tree one has like if you used um that sunscreen what's it called super goop unseen sunscreen if you use that before you, you know, and you know the smell, it's like that silicone sunscreen, chemical sunscreen smell. This smells like exactly the same thing, which like, I, I don't really mind, but it has like definitely a stronger scent than this one. But I would definitely repurchase both of these. I forgot to add. So a few things I forgot to talk about with the sun sticks is you have to be careful um, how high you roll these things up and while you apply it because if you roll it too high I feel like that's what causes it to break from the from this because I remember I still had some of this left and it would fall out and I had to be careful when applying this another thing is that as you can see this is how this is the highest it can go and it's still indented like that. So when you get to the point where you still have product, but you're at the end here, like it's just hard to apply. So I wish there was a way where you could conveniently use all the product in here without having to touch, like take out the bar and then like just glide it across your face. Cause it gets messy when you do that. I think it's the same for this one. I still have to see but I wish there was some kind of way they could redesign the packaging so it would be more convenient to just use the remaining of the product without having to take it out and just spread it on the face. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And that's pretty much the end of my video. I hope you liked it. That has been my sunscreen review video or just like talking blabbering about sunscreen. See you in the next one. Bye-bye!